What's up, Crypto Land? I'm Justin with ARC.io, and today I'd like to share with you something really special. It's the new version of the ARC desktop wallet, 2.9.3. There's some pretty cool fixes and improvements that I think you'll enjoy, so we're bringing it straight to you on the YouTube channel. And there's some more reasons to subscribe because some new and exciting content is coming to the channel. So let's jump right into the video, this update for 2.9.3. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the new version. Now, this is really cool because you don't need to go to GitHub and get the new version. All you need to do is click this bell right inside the wallet and press yes, download now, and then it's going to download and install directly within the application. How cool is that? Let's wait for the download to finish. Once the download finishes, all we need to do is click quit and install, and the application will install. Easy stuff. Now that the installation is finished, we relaunch the wallet and we are in. Brilliant. Now, one thing you should know is that 2.9.3 is kind of like the sequel to 2.9.2. The releases were very close in time and uh, it was building upon some previous features that were implemented in 2.9.2. So some of these features and improvements that I mentioned in this video apply to both versions 2.9.2 and 2.9.3. Now, the first thing, and I think the biggest thing, the crux of the video is going to be the integration of the multi-payment user experience into the send transaction uh, modal screen. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here. Now, when you go into a wallet address and you try to send a transaction using send, in the old wallet, it would actually prompt you to choose whether you want to send a single transaction to a single recipient or send to multiple recipients using one transaction and one transaction fee. We call this multi-payment. Now in this new version of the wallet, it's all built into one experience. So all you have to do is click send. And then here at the top, you'll see select a single or multiple recipient transaction. And you'll use this little switch to decide whether or not you wanna have a multi-payment or a single transfer. So in a single transfer, it's pretty much the same. You have this, select a recipient, and then you specify an amount, a smart bridge text if you like, and then you'll throw in your passphrase or your encrypted password. Now, if you would like to send multiple recipients, all you have to do is press on multiple, and then you can declare multiple recipients. Now, let's say I want to have this to be my first recipient. Then I click on this button, add recipient, and then I declare another recipient here. I can declare another amount or the same amount and then click add recipient. And this process continues and it shows my current recipients down here in this list. So this is now glommed into one experience and makes things a little bit more convenient. How cool is that? So the second feature that was implemented in this recent version relates to launching the wallet with no internet connection. Now, in order to do this, I need to kill the internet. So I'm going to do that. And now the internet is dead. It's actually going to give me a special message here in the initialization screen that says, initialization is taking longer than expected. Please check your internet connectivity. So this is useful because if you're having trouble connecting to nodes and stuff, there could be a number of different things happening. And one of those things could be a faulty or non-existent internet connection for your machine that you're using and you want to eliminate that so this feature helps you to eliminate that aspect of using the arc desktop wallet all right so i've just restored my internet connection and now we are back in now the next feature that i want to bring up in this recent version is the multi-signature icon and tooltip now when you have these addresses in your application there was no indicator to let you know which is a multi-signature address and which isn't. Now, I personally have labeled the multi-signature address that you see here, my multi-sig, but there was no official way that the application was telling you this is a multi-sig and this isn't. So as of this recent version, we've integrated this icon here that will display next to the wallet address label and tell you it is a multi-signature wallet along with this tooltip that you see right here. More convenient for everybody. So moving into an update to the plugin manager, let's go over there. Now in the previous wallet, all it had was all of them or just the ones that you have installed on your machine. But now there's more options. Now funded relates to the ARC grants program, which is a recent program backed by 1 million ARC that empowers developers to get funded for their blockchain powered idea. 
developers can apply for funding of up to $10,000 USD for their blockchain idea that utilizes the Arc Core framework, the generic transaction interface. There have already been plugins that are funded by Arc Grants, including this transaction export plugin. So this is an example of this filter in action. And surely if you or somebody you know applies to the program and makes their own plugin, this list will grow over time. So the next improvement that we have baked into this new version pertains to the about page of the application. Now, if you go over to the help menu up here and then choose about the old wallet had this like scroll bar on the side and it was ghastly. It was garish. It had to go. And so in this new version, that scroll bar is gone. This data is a little bit better formatted to uh, tell you all the details about the wallet version and everything else. No scroll bar anymore. Love it. So another improvement that we've made to this recent version pertains to the QR scanner. Now the QR scanner is used when you're in an address and you want to scan a recipient address that you're going to send funds to. You might have an address in your contact list or you might have an address in your clipboard that you want to paste, but sometimes you'll have a QR code right in front of you that you can use the QR scanner to scan that. Now, when you access the QR scanner over here in the previous version of the wallet, the instructions at the bottom of the screen were dim and difficult to read. But now in the new version of the application, the instructions at the bottom of the screen are more clear and easy to read. Nice. Here's one more thing. In the blog article that details 2.9.3 release, linked in the description, it does refer to a bug fix pertaining to the URI scheme. So you can check out that bug fix as well as others in the article. I'm also going to include the 2.9.2 article linked in the description because .3 and .2, in this particular case, they kind of go hand in hand. If you have not downloaded the wallet yet, you can do that at wallet.arc.io. It's available for Mac, PC, and Linux. We also have a mobile version of the wallet that is available for Android and iOS. Well, thanks for watching this video and thanks for supporting the Arc ecosystem. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification because big new things are coming to the YouTube channel and I really don't want you to miss out. But in the meantime, you can check out the related videos that are floating around my head somewhere, and I'll see you next time. I guess I leave now. Okay. <laughs>